Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. The always reliable Guardian has a new story about the Arctic. New data reveals extraordinary global heating in the Arctic. Temperatures in the Barents Sea region are off the scale and may affect extreme weather in the U.S. and Europe. New data has revealed extraordinary rates of global heating in the Arctic up to seven times faster than the global average. This sounds really scary. We better take a look at the data. The Danish Meteorological Institute shows that temperatures near the North Pole over the past two months may have been the coldest on record going back to 1958. Temperatures over the past month have been persistently below normal, and now that we've reached the melt season, temperatures are remaining below freezing. It's the same story in Greenland. Temperatures near the center of the Greenland ice sheet have been extremely cold, and we're only four days away from the longest day of the year. Normally, Greenland sees a lot of melting starting in early June, but this year it's continued to snow. A few days ago, Greenland received four billion tons of new snow. The surface mass balance in Greenland is now above the 1981 to 2010 average. The surface mass balance is the difference between new snowfall and melt which has occurred off the surface of the ice. It looks like this is going to be the fourth year out of the last six when the surface mass balance was above average. 2017 and 2018 saw huge excess accumulations of snow and 2021 was also above average. The only year out of the last six which was significantly below average was 2019. Melting on Greenland surface is far below normal this summer. Now let's take a look at Arctic sea ice. At the 2007 Nobel Prize ceremony, Laureate Al Gore predicted the Arctic would be ice free by the year 2014. Another new study to be presented by U.S. Navy researchers later this week warns it could happen in as little as seven years. Seven years from now. In the last few months, it has been harder and harder to misinterpret the signs that our world is spinning out of kilter. Nobel laureate Al Gore's prediction didn't do very well. In fact, there's more sea ice now than there was when he made that prediction 15 years ago. Now let's go back 100 years to 1922. Arctic Ocean warming up. In some places, seals are finding waters too hot. The Arctic Ocean is warming up. Icebergs are growing scarce, and in some places, the seals are finding the waters too hot. Reports from fishermen, seal hunters, and explorers all point to a radical change in climatic conditions and hitherto unheard of temperatures in the Arctic. This week in 1924, explorers reported a 22 degree rise in the average temperature of Spitsbergen. February 18, 1925, Arctic climate turning warmer, glaciers melting. The temperature of the Gulf Stream had warmed up 4 to 5 degrees centigrade since 1900. 1939, scientists have confirmed the fact that the Arctic regions around Spitsbergen are warming up at the rate of approximately 1 degree every two years. Since 1910, when observations first started in those regions, the cumulative rise of winter temperature has amounted to nearly 16 degrees. 1947, temperatures in the Arctic had increased 10 degrees Fahrenheit since 1900, an enormous rise from the scientific standpoint. New Scientist Magazine, 1960. Since 1910, the mean winter temperature in Spitsbergen is up 14 degrees Fahrenheit. If this goes on, the Arctic Ocean will be free of ice the year round before the close of the 20th century. That was in 1960, but 10 years later, scientists were worried about something completely different. New York Times, July 18, 1970, U.S. and Soviet press studies of a colder Arctic. The United States and the Soviet Union are mounting large-scale investigations to determine why the Arctic climate is becoming more frigid, why parts of the Arctic sea ice have recently become ominously thicker, and whether the extent of that ice cover contributes to the onset of ice ages. And scientists wanted to stop the global cooling by sprinkling coal dust on the Arctic ice cap in order to melt it. In 1960, scientists were predicting the Arctic would be ice-free by the end of the 20th century, and 10 years later they were predicting a new ice age. Things can change very quickly in the Arctic. The Arctic climate is cyclical. What the Guardian's describing in this article is the same thing which occurred 100 years ago. 
What the Guardian is reporting on is cyclical localized changes in temperature brought on by changes in ocean circulation patterns. It has nothing to do with global heating and it certainly has nothing to do with fossil fuels. There's little indication that the Arctic is melting now. In fact, the North Pole may be having their coldest summer on record going back to 1958. But 100 years ago, the Arctic was melting very quickly. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this junk science, superstition, and terribly bad policy for the past 14 years. You can visit Toto, Curie, Caesar, and our new climate team members, Upla and Toki, on the web at realclimatescience.com.